The United States and Japan have warned North Korea against a missile launch and threatened harsh action if the test flight goes ahead. Experts say North Korea's missile could reach as far as Alaska. The warning coincided with the assessment by some officials that Pyongyang may have finished fueling for the launch of its long-range Taipodong-2 missile. After a meeting with Spanish Foreign Minister Miguel Moratinos, U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice said a missile launch by North Korea would be viewed as a very serious matter and a provocative act that would further isolate Pyongyang. We would regard it as an uh, abrogation of um, obligations that North Korea undertook uh, in the moratorium that they signed on to in 1999, uh, that they reiterated in 2002. That is uh, clearly a part of the framework agreement that was signed in September of this past year between the six parties. And so it would be a very serious matter and indeed a provocative act should North Korea uh, decide to, to launch that missile. Um, we will obviously consult on next steps, but I can assure everyone that it will be taken with utmost seriousness. I think it is already taken with utmost seriousness uh, by regional states and by the world because it would once again show North Korea determined to deepen its isolation, uh, determined not to take a path that is uh, a path of, uh, of compromise and uh, a path of peace, but rather instead uh, to once again uh, say saber rattle. And so uh, from our point of view, it would be a very serious matter indeed. In Tokyo, Japanese Prime Minister Junikiro Kozumi who has twice met North Korean leader Kim Jong-il since taking office in 2001, said Tokyo, Washington and Seoul were all urging Pyongyang to act rationally and with restraint. If they ignore our views and launch a missile, then the Japanese government, consulting with the United States, would have to respond harshly. Kozumi declined to specify what steps Japan would take. The United States has found itself blocked by veto-wielding council members China and Russia in past attempts to raise North Korea's nuclear weapons program in the UN Security Council. U.S. officials said Pyongyang could still decide to scrap the launch, but that was unlikely given the complexity of siphoning fuel back out of a missile prepared for launch.